quickly. Enables the line to get some of his own space. So what? He invades in the top. Try to help the Titan turret along too. There's some kill potential to be had on the Spectre. But you're gonna need some levels first on a few of these heroes before you can do anything. At the same time, I think in Chapter's rotating bottom, possibly through a smoke gang, would, would net them a kill on the line. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. Create a lot of space on the Doom. And there's our first blood. First Doom ends up going blood. down as Pylai dies, sets it up for a Tarandi to be able to come in, and that Scorched Earth him away from the experience. Not gonna happen here. Universe healing solves himself away, and it's good to go with that Iron Talon, the extra farm. Will be coming in for him. Afterlife is gonna be gone on once again in this bottom lane, but this time in a much more comfortable position with the Enchantress creep, as well as Enchantress herself, locking in Eternal Heavy. They're actually going to be able to get this one. He still has the pounce up, but he's hoping to be able to just get into the trees all the way through, has to loop himself around this dangerous point. Afterlife is going to be able Doesn't to get one step really... ahead of him, and blocks Eternal Heavy, and the in, and finally, Empire claimed the kill, evening out the score now, one to one. I don't either put a lot of pressure on the top lane where this isn't happening, or go down and, and match the aggression. Yeah, with this bottom creep, He's gonna steal it for himself, but of course it does fade. I like this idea. That King R rotates mid as they force the attention of Puppy down to bottom lane. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out for them. Afterlife does end up going down. It's just but... too much to save the wall, keeping it in place with the pounce of the I'll try and catch our two. They have the sounds. They're gonna follow up with Ramsey's entering in with his ultimate. Well, Poshka and the double damage is just the icing on the cake. Spending some time in the jungle here, thanks to that regenerative level six that he has. Pylai Dai will get his level six of his own quite soon. Spectral Ultimate going out here. Looks like they're going to go for Pylai Dai. Manage to catch him and trap him inside the net. And Ramsey should be able to get this kill. Or maybe not. The Chen Heal goes out. They're going to have to dive in deeper into the tower. Yes, they get the support kill, but will it be worth it for them? They have to be able to escape, and Universe's TP is just not fast enough, nor to stop so they can... Oh, good kill coming in here. They know Ramses doesn't have a quick escape with that ultimate, so he may be caught. He's trying to get into the trees, but he still has to deal with the pounce, and there's just too many disables. Taken out, Pylai Dai. Move just because they want to be able to knock on this bottom. I might get the tower. Doom off immediately. Yeah. After life, he needs to be back. The Doom here. Oh no, the pounce and immediately the ultimate goes down from Eternal Levy. He may still be caught though, the coil, as well as. Yeah, they're just throwing everything they have. They want to make sure that this kill is guaranteed, and they're going to give it to Ramses as well. Claims the last hit to speed up the progression of his farm. Aiming for a little bit of tankiness and then into that. Uh, that was dragon really good. Lens. It makes most sense to just get the dragon lens. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again, another rotation in it. They're going to get the tour up. immediately. They just know how to deal with an OD. They target him down first, getting the initiation time after time. And now, we start focusing on the tier one. Who cares about uh, backdoor protection? There is none. It'll be really effective. And you've got the dragon lens completed now on the enchantress too, beefing up some of her damage as well. Smoke out from secret. They see Scandal, but they don't want it. They know this is... Oh, Scandal actually blinking forward, going for the creep wave. It's actually now in a bad position, as he's going to be slowed down by the Gush. Doesn't have face shift for another one. Pops it there, but it's just not going to last long enough for him to be able to get the blink out. Almost getting saved there by King R, but the finger of death ensures the kill and Team Secret. This time punishing Team Empire going... In. The use of his ultimate was pretty good. Yeah, it was just rough timing. He... Um... The secret was pinging out there, like, we don't want to go for this puck, it's too hard to kill anyways. At that point, it's just a luck game, right? Whether or not, uh, the scandal's looking, because if he is, then I like die, it's no shot. Oboshka, is he out of position? Afterlife, responding to Doom onto our tour with Ramsey's having the double damage. This is exactly maybe a fight that they want to be able to take the send back. Not going to be there in time, it looks like our tour is going to be blown up before that happens. Looks like they actually sent back the Slark instead, Universe. He has the Ravage. Obviously, no need to pop it here. He knows he's dead anyway. Empire just looking for as many kills as possible with the Ether Lens. They actually managed to get the swap on Uffy as well. That turns into a double kill for Ramses. The double damage definitely making that team fight for Empire. I did not see that fight go that way. And Roshan is dropping relatively fast, and they have to be able to contest this one. There is no trade-offs here. Snow taking towers, they need to be able to get their hands on the Aegis, or at least be able to win this team fight. The Ravage goes out, but the Aegis already picked up by Ramses. They've blown up Mabushka, though, and they still have three heroes trapped inside the Roshan Tennis. Empire Star making their way out, they go straight for Arturi, drops the ultimate, the swap back in. King R looking for the stun, but can't finish anybody off as Artur is able to get the blink himself away. Puppy instead is going to be the target by Ramses, should end up going down, but the follow-up is all on Eternal Enemy. They've already got the Doom on him, they just need to be able to get some disables and damage to finish him off, but the Doom, it's wearing out Eternal Enemy. He's going to be able to get a blink 
away quite soon as the Manta is out to be able to get rid of that silence. The orb misses. They follow up some extra damage, but Eternal Envy finally gets into the trees and starts that regenerative effect. And now Artur, he managed to survive through that whole entire fight and is looking to be able to play more. Blinks himself out from the impetus shot. Pile I die helps with the save. He's going to be able to get Scandal. That's a drop gem. Artur picks it up, but he may actually end up going down anyway as the enemy team reclaims that gem. Trying to just retreat now with that as Maposhka is going to be the sacrificial lamb stuck inside of this pounce. Turns to try and help kill the lion. Don't think that's going to be happening, that's though. It's Maposhka. Sticks. Oh, dodges the pounce, sidesteps that one. Maposhka, he's actually going to be able to get away here. King R with a swap, barely. No, he swaps his turtle Levio. They go for the kill on by Light Die. Wow. What a setup there from King R. Oh, that was so sick. Well played by Empire. And a turtle Levy should just be able to blink himself out. Oh, God, that was closer than I anticipated. Afterlife almost got that one off. If the Infernal Blade hits there and they get a turtle Levy, all right, so and because that, that's up? a big catch, right? You're talking about how Empire just kind of running around in these fights. It's the a good set up for Universe, though, because Hunt went off, but he still got the blink through. Jump in Infernal Blade on Pylite. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> look at the damage he's taken. He should be going down, unless the send back here to swap back in. Pilot die. Oh, man, it gets sent out there as Universe provides a save with Ravage. That's still going to be some significant ultimates used to be able to save the support. Ramses has blown an ultimate of his own and should be able to track down Universe quite easily. I think the better kills to get in this particular case. Good, good play by Puppy using Fog of War. One of, the, the uh, one of the supports picking up the gem for a scandal to run around with. Last time it was Mokoshka. Uh, this time, obviously, he still needs his Zags, so King R. He's able to get the gem for the team, and Doom is going to be picked off here. Jump by Team Secret. Welcome a pick. To the but they can't really play around, uh, or excuse me, the Dire Jungle, knowing that they can't really play around their own jungle at this point. See the line being drawn by our tour. This is all owned by Empire. This is Empire Land State. They're going to be able to get more. They've got Puppy. They're going to dive into the Tier 2 almost at this oh, point. No! Oh, no! Universe! Oh, fails the Ravage entirely, still tries to make the initiation, but Artur, I don't think he can really back him up here, managed to get the imprisonment, but that means he doesn't have an imprisonment to save himself, Artur ends up going down, and Universe is still stranded in the middle of an Empire Wasteland, three end up going down, and the Dagger searching for more, but Empire... <laughs> and Ramses, he doesn't have the Aegis or anything like that, and they might not have the best tower pushing, but... They can easily cut through this with 28 seconds left on the OD, the Tide, even if he comes back to life, isn't going to be able to provide too much. Lincoln, you'll swap, Pile I die. Again, the sent back, but it's just too damn fast. Empire blow him up, and now they're going to be able to get this melee Rax. They've actually Empire. gotten so much out of these swaps they are this game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're so rich now, too, with the Tier 3 Tower being taken. This seems like it will be once his... Well, for now, Dagger's back up. He's got himself stranded in the trees. Looks like they're going for our tour. They do have the Spectre ultimate. They're going to be willing to blow this one. King R is going to follow up initiation with the Glimmer Cape. The Scandal's already jumped in. And it's so easy to get the kill on an OD if you have the initiation like Empire does. And this is Puppy. Already down to half HP before the fight has even begun. And is it going to begin at all? Eternal Levy is actually searching, what, for the Courier? He's going to try and cut the creep wave, but Empire have more than enough creeps here to be able to uh, take this full lane. I mean, that's how desperate you are at this yeah. point. You commit drums for your stuff, just chase the Courier across the map. They've got the Ravage. Activated. Ravage is fine with this one. There goes the Ravage. Managed to only catch two, though, with Empire. They were still sitting far enough back that most of them don't get caught. They get the coil. Silence on the two. Imprisonment is going to be able to bide in time for Universe, but it doesn't really matter. He's already made his initiation. Now Eternal Levy is going to be caught. They're doomed. They got through the link. He's trying to run out the image, and they've got it, too. The image shots more than enough Artur he blew up a couple there with the ultimate but now he's going to be forced away and forced almost taken out by Maposhka with that heavy set of damage Empire though I love the fact that they're playing this really disciplined they don't overextend them also needed here is that team secret defend this Roshan they cannot That's give cheap. up ages and cheats they have to find their initiation somehow without their big team fight items and without their big team fight ults, but and it just seems impossible. It. 40 seconds. Our Levy jumping in, trying to grab something. Oh, doesn't manage to get anything there. The Aegis and Cheese already picked up, and now he's being body blocked entirely. Team Secret are going to leave Eternal Levy behind, knowing that there was nothing they could do there. Now they're going to pop the Spectre Ultimate, looking for more. Ramsey's going to be hexed up. A pile I die. That hex lasts long enough for him to be able to complete the TP out. My team is in such a bad spot. With 70 seconds down, and the Aegis available. Looks like Empire, they just want to end this game. Yeah, yeah. over to the swap out. Take off on Poppy. The Ravage goes in, hits on five, but again, there's all of damage. They have no eternal levy. Artur's already been stalled up. They're going for a scandal here, trying to get him. But Artur, he dies before it's even possible. And now he's going to buy back, but what hope does he have? They call it Team Secret. They go down in their very first series, revealing the team, showing what big A's they are, but going down to Team Empire.
The young up-and-comers from the CIS region, unbelievable. They played amazing throughout. I think game one especially was definitely Empire winning through sheer strength, right? I think this game though, there were so many mistakes done by Team Secret that you could say that, you know, sure enough, Empire played at the same high level they did in game one, but it was mm -hmm. also Secret.